Welcome to Media Shift's Digital Media Brief, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids Coworking and Child Care in San Francisco. I'm Mark Glazer with guests Simon Owens, tech and media journalist, Sarah Granger, author, speaker, and entrepreneur, Eileen Gallagher of Syracuse University, and Andrew Lee at American University. There's a boom happening for content marketing with brands of all sizes creating company blogs, thought leader columns, and even branded content on news sites. This is leading to a corresponding boom for freelance journalists looking for higher paying work. There are also ethical issues around ghostwriting columns for executives, writing about companies without disclosure. Eileen, what should journalism and communication schools be teaching about content marketing? They should certainly be teaching the difference between what is uh, original independent journalistic content and what is sponsored content. Students have to know how to identify it and they have to know what they're giving up when they take on that kind of work. And Simon, why did you start doing content marketing after being a reporter? Um, well, they were kind of happening in uh, conjunction with each other. I, I would, I never completely left the journalism field, and you know, I, I had plans to go back in it. Um, but I just kind of got pulled into it. I found a lot of demand. It was just kind of a confluence of events that I found that there was a lucrative career here, and uh, I don't know. I just kind of got sucked in, sucked into it. And Sarah, what's the good and bad sides of ghost blogging for companies? Well, for the companies, they get the content that they need if they are uh, if they have executives who don't have the time to write it or develop it themselves. For the writers, uh, the upside is having a steady paycheck and a good client, usually without a whole lot of editorial oversight. Uh, but the downside is that it's it's not written under their name, and usually they can't uh, share a lot of what they're doing because of contractual obligations. And Andrew, do you think there might be a danger we could lose some of our best writers to content marketing? Well, if you look at J school enrollment, it's already happening in that sense. But uh, you know, it's it's one of these things where we've seen journalists engage in it, and there are ways of engaging in it that don't compromise your ability to do journalistic work in certain domains. As long as you keep those lines clean, you're transparent, you're forthcoming about these things. Um, they can coexist. Uh, but certainly the pay grades for these two fields are very different, and that's going to get a lot of folks looking over the fence at these kinds of activities. Thanks for joining us for the Digital Media Brief for Media Shift, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids. Learn more about their pioneering program combining co-working and child care at nextspace.us slash nextkids. We'll catch you next week.